Welcome back to the channel guys, Sam here and today we're making a butterfly skull t-shirt inside of Photoshop. If you're rubbish at drawing like myself then today is your lucky day because we're going to be going over some techniques that help to make photos look illustrated. Before we get started I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that supported the channel so far. We've gone over 100 subscribers in the last 28 days so I'm really really pleased with that so thank you. By the way guys if my tutorials help you make any kind of artwork then I want to see it so send it over to me on Instagram and if you're lucky I'll put it in my stories. The link for my Instagram is in the description below. If you learn something new from the video then consider learning even more by subscribing and checking out my other videos. Let's hop into Photoshop. Okay guys, so I've just imported the butterfly picture I'm going to be using and it's a transparent PNG so we don't have to worry about removing the background. First thing we want to do is rasterize the butterfly layer then head over to the rectangular marquee tool. We want to make a selection over exactly half the butterfly because we're going to delete it. This is so we can duplicate the other half and flip it horizontally to make a perfectly symmetrical butterfly. To do this we just need to duplicate the butterfly layer after deleting half, press Ctrl T to select, right click and go down to flip horizontal. Now we just need to position the other half and our butterfly is now perfectly symmetrical. It's definitely worth doing this at the start rather than having problems later when we try and add the skull to the wings. Now we just need to hold shift and select both halves of the butterfly in the layers panel and convert it to a smart object which will merge them together. I'm then going to name this layer and then make a copy of it because we're going to need it later on. Now it's time to apply our first effect to the butterfly. Make sure you have white selected as the foreground colour and then head up to filter and filter gallery. The effect we want to use here is called stamp and what I'm looking for is just to capture as much of the detail of the image as I can almost like if we could convert the photo to outlines. So now we're left with almost a butterfly skeleton, which is what we're looking for. However, I want to add back in some of the detail onto the body. And this is where we need that copy of the original butterfly layer. What we're going to do with the layer copy is head up to image, adjustments and select invert which is obviously going to invert the image. We're then going to head up to image, adjustments again and select threshold. Remember we're just looking for detail in the body, we already have what we want in the wings. This looks good to me so I'm going to click OK and then select the magic wand tool. For this next part to work properly make sure anti-alias and contiguous are not selected and then click on any of the white part of the butterfly. What this has done is selected all of the white parts of the butterfly so we can now press Ctrl J and make this white part its own layer. Now we can turn off the copy layer that we just applied the threshold to and we should be left with the white selection layer we just made and the stamp effect butterfly. All I'm going to do now is apply a layer mask to the white selection layer we just made and using a black brush remove all the extra parts of the wings we just picked up with the selection so we're just left with the body. So now as you can see we're left with a much more detailed butterfly than if we just used one of the effects on their own. Layering different effects, especially threshold, really is the secret to capturing more detail from the original image. Now we can convert both parts of the butterfly into one smart object and get rid of the butterfly copy as we won't be needing it again. Now we're going to head into the effects menu and up to blending options. Using the top blend slider, hold shift which will break the arrow in half and move it slightly. This is going to remove the black from the butterfly so we are only left with the transparent white parts. Here's the skull image we're going to be using and this is also a PNG. Once I've positioned it I'm going to repeat the same thing we did for the butterfly at the start to make it symmetrical. This time however it's not to make the skull itself symmetrical which it basically is. It's to make the shadows on both sides the same so we don't end up with one really dark side of the skull when we use threshold on it. Mm -hmm. 
Now we can turn on the butterfly layer again and clip the skull inside it by holding Alt and clicking in between the two layers. Now we're going to head up to image, adjustments, like before and apply a threshold. The final piece of the puzzle is to change the blend mode of the skull to difference, which will bring through the wing detail of the butterfly. How difference works with this design is it will change any part of the wing that's on white to black so you can see it and any parts that are on black will remain white. Now I'm just going to fiddle around with the skull position some more and also stretch it out so it takes up some more of the wingspan. I want to just get rid of some of the wing lines over the skull so I've changed the foreground colour to black and created a new layer between the skull and the butterfly so we can now remove these lines. Let's add in our text. I'm using the font My Honey One, which is a duo font from Invato Elements. No particular reason for using the word pulse, I just thought it looked cool. Now let's add a black stroke from the effects menu to create some separation between the design and the type. This is looking really good now. The last thing I want to do is edit the L in the word pulse to stretch it up and fill in the gap between the design. So I'm going to right click on the text layer and convert to shape. If we now click on the direct selection tool, we can edit the anchor points of the text like we were in Illustrator. All I'm going to do is select the anchor points at the top of the L and drag them up. Finally, I just want to draw back in the butterfly antenna with a white brush, as they seem to have gotten lost with all the effects we've added. So that's the finished design guys, now it's time to mock it up and see how it looks. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found the video useful, remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I next upload. Catch you next time.